Okay, now I've gone through and copied and pasted each of these phrases into Google. And remember, I put them in quotes, and then I found my number, and I copied that, and then I pasted it back into my Excel spreadsheet. So now, on the, the left-hand side, we have our count number, the number of times uh, that phrase was searched at Overture.com. And on the right-hand side, we have the competing number. This is the number of pages that have that exact phrase in them. And so comparing these two numbers, we're going to be able to tell, uh, get a better sense of what our strategy is going to be. Now, before I go on, I want to mention a caveat here about the inventory.overture.com tool is that it is not precise. It lumps different phrases together. Uh, we, we can't see it in this case uh, clearly, but uh, all singular and plural phrases are the same as far as Overture is, is concerned. And then you get some strange phrases every once in a while that just don't make any sense. So here, Cleveland Estate Heights, Ohio Real. This obviously is not what people are searching on. They're, they're uh, searching on Cleveland Heights, uh, Ohio Real Estate, probably. Cleveland Heights is a, is an, uh, a suburb area of Cleveland. So uh, a lot of times you can deduce that kind of thing. If you see a phrase that looks completely out of whack, you can feel free to, to, to move it around to make it a little bit more realistic. So uh, be aware of that. There are other tools that are much more exact, but uh, for free, you, you can't really beat it. So now, so our, our list here is now still organized from the most searched to the least searched. But look over here. So Cleveland Real Estate, 19,612 people searched on it, 408,000 competitors. It's the most competitive of all these phrases on this particular list. If you're a large realtor in the area, you very well might want to try and compete for that. But if you're a small realtor and you've, you're brand new to optimization, I would probably recommend starting with a less competitive phrase because you're going to get discouraged. You, gotta, you, you want to do something that, that you're going to see results for. Uh, but uh, other than that phrase, these competing numbers, I think, are really quite doable. Cleveland, Ohio real estate. Drum jumps significantly down, 3,740 competing pages, 7,227 searches. It's just, it's a great phrase. And, and I know for a fact that if you're in the Cleveland, Ohio, Ohio real estate market, optimize for this phrase because most people aren't doing it. It's a wide open market. I don't know why Cleveland, Ohio isn't doing great for optimization as far as real estate is concerned. Uh, but they're not. Uh, most other areas are. So this is a great opportunity. So, but look at here. Cleveland, Texas is doing even worse. Uh, there are Cleveland, Texas real estate. 682 pages have that phrase on it. 1,029 people had searched on it just at Overture.com. It's a completely underserved market. If you just have that phrase somewhere on your page, you're going to come up for that, and you're going to help out these people because there should be more results than that. So what you want to do is you want to make a list of, of, of most likely phrases to optimize for and put them in a hierarchy. Then once you get the list that you think is good, print it off, put it by your desk, and as you're writing content for your website, you can go through and you can say, okay, this is a good one for... Cleveland, Ohio real estate, but here this would be a, I, this page would be good for Cleveland realtor. And now keep in mind this is a very abbreviated list of key phrase research. You'd want to do something more extensive. I would try to aim for about a hundred phrases just to get a feel for the market. Uh, but it's well worth your time because once you understand this and you understand what your audience is searching on, it's going to make complete sense as to what you need to write your site to and what pages you need to have on your website, and you're going to do better on the search engines, you're going to get better results from your, your web marketing pursuits, and you're going to, I think, have a much more enjoyable experience. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 330-379-9000. You can also email me directly at sage at sagerock.com. All right, have a great day.